when I watched this video, um, it, mean, it meant a lot to me. La uh, God of War 2018, the God of War of last year, it released on April 20th, 2018. And why I'm making this video, you must say, is because Sony released a, a video of God of War as a thank you video. And it's this video. Guys, God of War was last year's game of the year. It had ton of competition, even on the PlayStation, like Spider-Man, and that game run versus got a Red Dead Redemption too. And this game, it's it's just pure beautiness. Developed by Santa Monica, Santa Monica Studios, published by Sony, exclusive for the PlayStation 4, and directed by Corey Balrog. The God of War takes on a different type. If you haven't played God of War, come on, you need to play this game right now if you own a PS4. If you know if you own a PS4 and you don't own God of War, what are you waiting for? What plan do you live on? <laughs> Guys, when I played this game, it meant a lot to me. The story was unique, immersive, and unique. Uh, the game it was on a different level. The type of graphics, the type of direction of the game, no loading screens, always on camera, uh, Kratos and Atreus, one of the best type of characters since Joe and Ellie. In type, you can say, oh, this is the ripoff of Last of Us, and kind of no. Uh, the game, yes, uh, takes the buddy system, but the game is just very type of different. This game was made with love and passion of games developers and gamers. And the cast was amazing. The story it was unique in type of way you, you don't know how to you know how to answer it until you play the game. And if you're a father figure, if you have a child, you must play this game. This game will hit you on the heart like nothing else. And this is why I love God of War. God of War was always about gore, killing, and just killing and killing. But this game takes another step forward, like ten steps. It features a story on a, for a personal emotive story. And this game was 10 out of 10, it's game of the year. I think it ranked 95 on Metacritic and is one of the favorite games of all time of mine. One of my favorite games is Witcher, Zelda, and now God of War. And I didn't trust this game. I, I thought I saw it like a yo, this this cut this God of War looks very good. I, I'm a buy, you know? But the game took another another step forward. When I played this game, it, it, it just blew my mind. It, it just was okay. It was, was not okay. The last God of War was Ascension. So they started like they want to kind of reboot the series, but in a different way. Not, not um, discarding the last five games of the series. Cole, Cole Corey was very, very directive of this game. He said he wanted something new, he wanted to go back to the series, and wanted to try something new. And by the way, for the single player game, the, the average game takes you 35 hours to complete the game, and that's mind blowing, okay? That is mind blowing for a 35 hour game. In, in, you, correct, you get all the collectibles, you get side quests, and you, get all the, uh, and you try to platinum the game for the ultimate trophy, it will take you to 55 hours, almost 60 hours, and that's a lot. It's sad we're not getting expansions or DLC. But this video just tells you how God of War changed people's life. From the first God of War to the 2018 God of War, many things changed. And it grew on the studios, and I want to bring you this because I want you to know that God of War, it's awesome. And I thank Sony, and I thank uh, Santa Monica Studios for creating this type of game. Games like this tells the, the, the genre and tells the entire gaming community that single player games are not dead. Single player games still sell well. Single players are here to stay forever. Single player games are stories that people want to go and bring. You can get you can get you can make a multiplayer game and put microtransactions on it, but single players is what matters sometimes. Imagine you don't got an internet and you just want to play a single player. And you just got like what three games. Imagine you got Call of Duty and you're playing the single player only, and yes, you got the bots, but you're alone. So you can play the single player and you just uh, get all the trophies. Example, you got Devil May Cry, and Devil May Cry is the only single player game, and you just play the hell of Devil May Cry. Imagine you got God of War and you just 
immerse yourself on a single player game that is awesome and everybody knows it. And that is a thank you. God of War made me uh, uh, my my love for video games. It it, it just re re rejuvenated. <laughs> I thought gaming was dead. I thought that gaming was dead. Yeah. But God of War, I thank you. Hey guys, comment below, let me know if you have played God of War, if you had got the Platinum, if you want God of War 5, no, it's not God of War 2, it's God of War 5, or God of War, I don't know what, but, oh, I mean, let's call it God of War Ragnarok, okay, let's play God, let's, let, let, let's call it uh, God of War Ragnarok, and let me know if you like the video, comment below, let me know, hit the notification sign, please subscribe, it helps me a lot, and guys, see you on the next Raiding God video.